Hey guys, how's it all going? It's your boy SD Graphics Santi Dominguez, guys from Instagram. Uh, we got the first video up. Well, we're gonna get, put the first video up. So uh, pretty much, guys, if you are new, which everyone should be, welcome to the YouTube account. This is my first time really like commentating over a video, especially a tutorial video. I've done a few videos before, but like never, you know, to teach someone. So we're gonna just pretty much right into it we'll see how this channel takes off hopefully and you know we'll see we'll see what happens so this is just for the fun of it. it's a bit of an experiment just like the Instagram account was but the Instagram account actually ended up like you know getting pretty big and it's still growing so that's that's good so I appreciate you guys uh, following me on there and uh, supporting me so yeah Anyways, guys, let's just get right into it. I'm not the guy that wants to talk for like a minute or two or even like five minutes as some of the YouTubers do. I just want to get right into it, show you guys the tutorial. So today we got Alex Bowman's 88. I think it's at Watkins Glen, it seems like. And uh, we got the Honda Accord. I'm not sure. I think it's 2018, I'm pretty sure. But this is the best angle I could get from it. Because the other angles that are good, they were only the red version, and I don't want to like take off the red and have to change the quality. It's too much work. I mean, I could, but sometimes the quality isn't as great. So um, I just found the best picture I could find. Yep, 2018 actually says right there in the top. So um, let's just get right into it. So I'll show you guys how I do it. It's uh, it's not too difficult. I mean, it is maybe difficult if you're just starting. But um, for me it was at first, it took me about an hour, a little over an hour to get the car done. Now I literally get them done in about 15-20 minutes. I even cut it even more than what I had it at. So um, I'm doing it really, really quick. But for you guys, if you have GIMP, if you have Photoshop, if you have um, any any sort of like, you know, just software I guess. Like there's, I know there's some people that use some weird softwares I've never even heard of. and it, And they work well, like people design cars with these things. So, um, yeah, I mean, whatever you have, just try to follow along. I'm on Photoshop. I'm on the latest version. So let's just jump right into it. Right, right into it. I can't English today. Uh, we got Alex Bowman's uh, car, and we got the Honda Accord. So first, you're just going to need the pen tool. It's not too hard, honestly. So, um, so if this is your first time on Photoshop, I suppose if you have Photoshop, it's probably not your first time on it. So, um, but if you don't know... You just use a pen tool. It's P. You can press P on your uh, on your keyboard as a shortcut, and then you're just gonna go around and cut the entire car. It's really weird for me to be commentating over my stuff. I usually just do it really quick and quietly, but now I gotta take my time a little more, so you guys can try to follow along a bit. And like I said, I'll probably put these photos down in the description or put photos similar because this is actually a screenshot that I used with the sniping tool because it was a file that I could not open on my computer. So I just took the photo. It's a nice, it's a good quality image. It works for the photo. Whenever you're doing these, you always want to have photos that have images uh, or the resolution has to be over a thousand. So like if the the width has to be over a thousand and the minimum has to be at least like 600 and like some of the reasons are we use a lot of cars like the Jimmy Johnson front end from 2016 the Ryan Blaney car it's because they're all like 3000 by like 2000 or something like they're super high resolution they're very sharp and like you know it's really easy like no matter what you change the car color to or whatever it's still like it fits well it doesn't look like it's lost any resolution and it's good. So anyways, we gone in and connected the pen um, all the way around. So you don't have to go all the way around the headlights. Like, you don't have to cut out the individual headlights. Not yet, that is. But you do have to go around the car body, go around the lights, you can go around the hood. The hood, this you're going to use it to blend into the other car. And from here, um, pretty much we're just going to cut it out. And I didn't mention this before, but if you do not know how to cut with the pen tool, it's just click and then you can click and then you can drag and then you can move it around and once you have this you can press alt and then click and then you can actually move this one around to aim the direction you want your next uh, line to go to or the point but once we have this we already outlined and stuff you're gonna do uh, you're gonna do a right click and then you go make selection okay and then control E 
to, to make sure that the cutout goes down to this layer. Control O, you get V, move it, and move it right onto Alex Bowman, and it should look just like that. So, obviously, they're slightly different whites. Alex Bowman's is more of a, you know, pure white. This one's more of a cream color. And obviously we have the shadows that come in down here, so we'll, I'll teach you guys. It's really easy. Some stuff can get more difficult, uh, depends what cars you're doing, especially if you're changing colors of a car. And when it comes to changing colors of a car, you have to make sure that it is good resolution. If it is not good resolution and you change the color of the car, you will see, you will see pixelization, you will see it's not, no, it's not smooth anymore. The, uh, the front end of the car, you, you'll see that the quality is lost a lot. So, um, you guys just want to be careful with that. Anyways, get control T. Okay, you can move it down. You can just click on it and move it around. You can try to straighten it out with the bottom as much as you can. Line it up. And now you're going to press shift and you're going to drag out. So that way you can grow and you can grow the size of the front end without making anything wonky. So there you go, there's that. And then you can press control and then you can click and you can actually bring this in. Control click the corner, you can move it out. And just like that, you can kind of match up the front end with this front end. And that seems, let me move this one up a bit more. Move that one down a bit. And then press OK. Obviously, you see that the front end is really off. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. Uh, the angle's not correct. So you're going to do Control T again, and now you're going to get this one at the top. It's like a warping tool, and you're going to move the front a bit. Now, if you can just find an image of the right angle of the car, that's even better. You don't have to do this, and sometimes it actually makes the quality a bit better. But since I really wanted to make a Honda Accord, and I couldn't find the right images just find one that you know that you can kind of warp and fix and that one will work just fine so yeah just make sure see as a little bit of side right there showing uh, just cut that off and then move this one off up a bit and just you know wherever you feel like it should be and it looks natural in the car so you just gotta line it up honestly that doesn't look that bad maybe a little bit higher maybe a little bit higher Let's see, and let me know, guys, uh, if you want if you want to see certain cars or something. I know it's not a lot of you guys watching. I mean, this is gonna be the first video, but you know, I got I will take uh, recommendations. Any car requests, maybe. Now, obviously, if it's like a really difficult car, I'll see if I can even do it myself because I am good at Photoshop, but I'm not a pro. Like, you know, there's much better ways I can do my own edits. Like, I know, like. I can be a bit of a destructive editor and some people like to use mass layers and stuff I'm not a pro at this but I am good at what I do and when it's making front ends of different cars on different cars so I'll just do it my way if you have a different way of doing it then you can choose whatever way it is and try to make it work for yourself anyways whenever you're done you lined it up it takes about a minute or two. It's not going to be super quick. You want to take your time. You want to line up the Honda logo with down below roughly. Obviously, keep in mind it's at an angle, so it might not be straight on. You see it's a bit tilted and a bit sideways, but it looks natural. It's supposed to look natural. Now that you have that, you see what, what I also use a lot of times to line up the front end is that you see between here, you see you have... You have um, part of the hood and you want to go straight down these two right here you want to go straight down the middle and then you want to roughly kind of aim it to where the logo would be or if you need any help you can move that the Honda logo is roughly about where the Chevrolet is it's a little bit more to the side but hey it works and if it does bother you well let's fix it then I think it's a little off to the side and then fix it that's it that's all you gotta do bam bam alright cool that works. See the front end. You want to see roughly where the lights end. I know it's a different car, so obviously these lights are going to go out a bit more. But um, you can fix that after as well. Like You can literally fix anything you want here. Which we might actually. You know what? Why not? Oh, wait. Control. You can press Control and then click it to make it kind of come in on itself. And... 
That'll do. Now what you guys are going to want to do, get the pen tool again. And now you want to make sure you're on the selected layer, which is this top layer. Because if you guys select the bottom layer be below, or any other layer that is, no matter what you're doing in Photoshop, if you guys don't know Photoshop well, um, it's going to select that layer instead. So you want to make sure you, get, you can press V, and you can click on here, and then press P. And now we're going to do what we did before, just outline. Uh, now you're going to outline the actual physical, like lights, the, the grill, and all the other stuff that the car needs to have cut out. And I will show you why. It's because what's going to happen is that the layer of the Honda Accord, like the front end of it, the paint body, like the, the paint job, the body of the car, that part is actually going to be erased, sort of. So that way it actually helps it blend in into the, you know, the actual car we're trying to put it on. And this actually like it works really seamless. Like Photoshop does a really good job. Like you have to use a zero hardness brush in order to do it. And when you use a zero hardness brush, uh, you have to use it from a bit farther out. But it will cut out. You know, it will erase um, some of it. But then you know, the farther out it goes, the less it erases. But then it makes it you know kind of blend in together, which is what we want at the end of the day. It's pretty hard blending metal and shadows and stuff, but. I feel like it was time to make a video. Now sometimes it will take you a few tries to kind of cut it out the way you want it. There's no rush. This part, the more accurate you make it, the better. Also at the same time, you don't have to be super, you know, on it. If it's the same color car. Now if you're changing it to green, you can change the body, but then you might have a little bit of trim of white going around the outside, which you don't want. Well, anyways, when you make this selection, you're going to go Control J and makes wait no couldn't you my bad you're gonna go control E goes down onto the selection onto the layer now control J so now if you see you turn this off and this off no matter what you still got your grills and lights so we're gonna do the same thing to down here make sure you're on the layer of the body click the body not the grill layer because then you're gonna start cutting out here and it's not gonna work alright so we're on the bottom layer and just do the same thing for this one and the other side and whichever other uh, whichever car you're doing if you are copying the Honda Accord or if you're making just your own uh, car whichever it is you've cho chosen to do it's not a difficult task it's uh, obviously it is difficult if you don't know what you're doing when I first started I didn't know what I was doing but I learned all by myself on how to cut these cars out and you know just place them on each other like Photoshop class does help but they don't teach you how to do this stuff like they taught me how to do head swaps and like you know change the colors and how to make you know certain things but they don't teach you all this you know more advanced or more specific things that you go on to do so here we go we're just cutting out this end I'm, I don't know I might fast forward it but I don't think we're in a rush and plus we're doing this pretty quick as well if you guys are, you know, just wanting to skip this part, because you guys know what's coming. I'm just cutting this part out and then copying and pasting it. So if you guys do just want to skip it, and you know, just a few seconds ahead, that is fine. I will not be offended. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty quick. The ones that do suck to make is the GT500. Since the grill, the lights, literally everything is all connected. Which is cool, so you don't have to make so many different selections, but it sucks because you have to go around the outside of so many things, and it takes a few minutes. But there we go, the Honda Accord is done. So, now that you have everything here, you're going to go here. And as you can see, you have your front end, you have your headlights, you have the grill, you have the logos, everything. That is cut out. So now, this is a, this is a layer in itself, as you can see. Now you can... Um, press back on that so control Z by the way is to undo you don't have to go to you know edit undo just control Z and then control shift Z is to redo it so if you guys don't know your shortcuts I recommend you learn them they're not hard they're, I mean you don't have to know what every single one does I do know most of them and I mean it doesn't take that long I'm not like this super smart dude or whatever um, so it's 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 just helpful it makes it a mu much quicker so now click on the body layer of the of the car that you're trying to Photoshop on. You're going to press E, make the size pretty big around there, hardness to zero. Now what you're going to do is you're going to erase 
the seam of the metal. You want to erase and you want to erase a bit of the body of the metal. Did I word that right? Maybe. And then you just want to erase that a bit, just enough so it blends roughly together. Here you might have to do it a bit more. That looks good enough. Maybe a little bit more here. And if you guys do do this, by the way, send me a uh, post it on your story or on your main uh, account on Instagram or whatever it is that you end up doing and tag me in it. I want to see how, how you guys came out. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look professional. I mean, this is the first time you guys are doing it. And if some if some of you guys do a very good job, I mean, I know some of you guys are really talented on uh, designing. So that can work. So just send it to me. Anyways, so now that he re erased that you can see obviously we're missing some sides here and that's okay we're gonna fill that in but click the body layer again and now we're gonna go to image image adjustments hue saturation so you can see obviously this is more cream color than it's supposed to be so just go to lightness move it up a bit and if that doesn't work because sometimes see it starts getting rid of that and the brighter you go it will get rid of it but you can go image adjustments levels as well levels also works and then just move it up and yeah, move it up around maybe maybe around there because you also want to look at the whole car because obviously this side's a bit darker than this side but we can fix that so it's all good uh, it's a little bit brighter that's fine so now what we're gonna do we're gonna click the layer below the first main layer of the car which is right here and which and also whenever you start doing when you start editing the car the main car the photo that you're doing uh, make it you can edit it three like uh, copy it and paste it three times just in case you ain't make any mistakes I know it's like con uh, you know destructive editing and stuff if you guys have different methods of doing it, it's fine it just works for me like I said I'm not a pro at Photoshop I, I just learned from school and stuff and I don't remember some of the mask um, I remember how to mask but not exactly how to do all the clipping mask and that's just too complicated for me I I'll learn eventually but like I said it works for me so so we're gonna click on this first layer with the car and you see here you're gonna press I you're gonna click the eyedropper you're gonna click you know roughly where what's gonna be here you press B you make it smaller you make sure the hardness is on zero so it blends come here hardness is on zero and then you start filling this in and it's fine if you go over it that's why we have another layer so you can actually see underneath what you're having to erase. And there you go. You zoom out a bit. Make it a bit bigger. You can erase a bit. As much as you have to do, don't erase too much. Like if you start coming in here, like into this area over here, you got to you got to stop. <laughs> but um now we're going to click here. Now we're going to click the this layer, the layer that you did paint on. You're gonna turn about maybe 34 opacity. Now you're gonna go with the E eraser. You're gonna turn hardness up to 100. Make it small, and you're actually gonna cut the outside. Make sure you're on the layer that you painted on, right here. So you cut that out, and then you just erase all the way down. You can press Shift, and you can click, and then Shift, and then it'll just do a quick straight line. You don't have to like trace it with your mouse all the way down it's much quicker it's much easier it's much more reliable and let me see I have to cover this up right here actually I think I messed it up because I erased it too much that's why you got if you if you do erase it too much it's fine no worries you can do it again Maybe just do another layer there just in case for me. On here you can make sure your hardness is 100 too so you don't get any soft edges. And if it's too dark, like I said, you can't see through, just turn down the opacity. And there you go. 
Now, usually if I was doing this by myself, it goes quicker, but since you guys are following me, I'm going to go a bit slower for you guys. And like I said, this is my first comment, and this is my first time ever comment, like, you know, commentating over my own stuff, so it's kind of weird. So I sometimes, you know, lose a bit of focus, but it's fine. So right here, usually sometimes, you know, you might have the edge sticking out right here of the car. It's very little, but uh, you can just, you know, press eyedropper and then just literally just paint that over on that layer. There you go, it's gone. You don't have to worry about that. Cool. Now you back out. Obviously, it's a little bit more blue. It's okay. You can go back over it. Over here, it's wider, though. We do the same thing over here. So you're going to get the eyedropper click roughly there. And then get your brush. And then you're going to fill this in. Fill that all in, and then you can make your brush a little bigger and make it kind of blend as you go up. That's fine. And then same thing, get the hard eraser. If you can't see through, you can turn down the opacity. You can want to start from up here. Click Control, click Shift, and then you can just click, and it'll follow you. No way you go. All right, cool. And then you're obviously going to have over here, just go down. And then for some reason, we have this layer too. I did something slightly wrong, but that's because, like I said, I'm commentating. Whenever I'm commentating, I'm not paying attention as much. So it's always a bit harder for me. Like I said, I'd probably get used to it. It's my first video, so I'm not expecting it to be absolutely flawless. But as long as we're doing it correctly, <laughs> and I'm showing you guys that it's the right way, so... And go there and you back out click back out and there it looks pretty solid obviously we have a few things we can work on but um you're gonna come over here and you can click the front now at this point you just kind of start making adjustments to what you feel should you know what's gonna be good for the car um how well you think you can blend it there you go blend it in a bit and you can actually click on here click on the body of the car once again you're gonna come over here you see this little hand if you don't have a hand you might see this It's the dodge tool the sponge tool these tools actually help you darken and lighten up an image um, really easily see you can darken that up so for shading over here obviously it gets darker and you just select highlights or shadows or midtones. We're gonna go highlights since this is pretty much all highlighted. It's very bright. The darker it is, if this is shadows, then obviously you'll choose shadows. So since this is here lighter and we, you know, it turns into a shadow bit, you're gonna go across it. Maybe not that dark. But yeah, you're gonna definitely come over here. And as you come over here to this side, you're gonna go, you know, the dodge tool. I'm gonna brighten that up a bit. It's pretty bright click on it you can if for some reason you see that there's not enough definition of the body on the car you can always just control copy and then control E and it goes down and it'll make another layer on top of that and you can just paste it on top of each other so yeah that looks pretty good actually looks pretty solid right now um, you can actually come over here to the grill press V and then click the grill and if you feel like it's a little too sharp for you, you can actually get the blur tool. I don't use it often, but sometimes I do. It's just a little drop it and droplet looking thing. You can make it very pretty small around there and you can actually go around the outside. There you go, maybe a little bigger. What's the hardness at? It's at a hundred. Alright, so yeah, just go around the outside, make it look a bit less sharp. You can also use a soft uh, eraser. Um, and that can sometimes help when you start getting up to there you don't really need it that much and come across come over here see it just makes it less sharp so it looks like it kind of blends in now you don't obviously want to make it very unsharp because then it's going to look like it's out of focus or something now you're going to click on the lights you're going to do the same thing you're just going to burn it make it seem like there's shadows going across it same thing here you know add some darkness to it so it looks pretty good so as you go from 
one side to the other obviously it looks like the sun's hitting this side the most and the darkness you know it's on this side if you want to darken it up a bit more you can click the body make sure whatever you're adjusting you got to click that layer don't forget that if you're new to Photoshop you'll, you'll learn quick because you're gonna be like what's going on it might be really confusing promise you it's not that bad <laughs> It's not like, you know, animation software or something. I tried to look into Blender, I think it was, yesterday. Oh, my gosh, that thing's ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. <laughs> but we're almost done here. Um, you can press V, and now you're going to click on the Chevy logos at the top. And now this is very simple, actually. You're going to click J on your keyboard, or it's right here. It's just the, uh, it's this tool, and you're actually just going to go right over it, although... We might have to go to this one. You're gonna go right here and just erase it. It's just gonna erase. And you see if there's blue right there. Although I met, like I said, I kind of slightly messed it up because I'm commentating. And I can't focus that well. But like I said, I'll, I'll get used to it. Enough videos and yeah, I'll get it. And yeah, you can kind of um, see, you know, fix that up. There, looks good. Control zero. It, goes into full screen so that way you don't have to get the magnifying glass and go out control zero and you're out I'm on PC by the way I know I didn't mention that at the beginning but I'm on PC if you're on uh, Mac or any you know Apple device it might be like you know probably like command something I don't know I've used Mac before uh, when I was doing a uh, logo class for college man I absolutely hated it and the mouse for some reason was really unresponsive too like it was really slow or something but yeah, guys, that's about it. I mean, like I said, like the probably if you do want to go back in and tweak it a bit more, uh, you can. It looks pretty solid. I mean, especially whenever you post it on Instagram, because I'm not gonna lie, there are sometimes just just tiny mistakes here and there that uh that are in my post, but literally like no one ever finds out because it's very very small. So you can get away with uh you know, not not doing. Not not the best job, but like you know, with little tiny mistakes here and there that you can't really fix. But uh, you know, maybe if it's a little bit lower definition, it's not as high resolution. But this one's pretty high resolution; looks pretty solid. But for other cars and stuff, um, but you know, you always want to do a good job the first time and do as as good of a job as you can, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, guys, so um, this is how you make a Honda Accord on Alex Bowman. Like I said, I'll leave the uh, photos down in the description if you guys are interested. I'll leave links to them. And pretty much, if you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe. This is my first video. So if this video for some reason wasn't 100% or if I didn't explain 100%, I understand. Guys, like, bear with me. Like I said, I've done a few videos here and there, but it's been like a few years. And, um, I mean, yeah, this is my first tutorial that I've actually taught on Photoshop, which feels pretty surreal to me. Never thought I'd be teaching a Photoshop tutorial. But here it is, guys. Um, if you guys do want to go ahead and change the banner, you can. It's not a huge deal. I mean, it'd look kind of weird if you have a Cup Series banner on a car from like two or three years back. But, uh, you know, you can do it if you want. Uh, you can add the 88 as well. You can add the Honda logos up here. I usually don't sometimes just because it doesn't really matter as much. Um, I do here and there if I feel like it. It's not a huge deal. Um, but if you guys, you know, you guys are doing whatever you guys want to do. So if you guys want to add it, if you guys want to change the color of the car, I'll do that in another video. Uh, I probably upload pretty often. I mean, these videos aren't hard for me to make as I don't have to edit too much in them. So I just pretty much just slap in the video and that's about it. But, um, if you guys like this, I'll just finish it here, guys. If you guys liked it, leave a like, subscribe. If, um, check out my Instagram accounts literally it's probably gonna be linked in the description why not if not you know it's an intro of my video so I appreciate you guys for supporting my account probably make another video soon I really like doing these and uh, yeah y'all take care peace I